I was on Instagram scrolling through fellow creatives. I saw a post from a performer I follow. She lives in Italy. The country was getting hit the hardest around this time and she was showing the exhaustion of the Italian nurses and doctors who were being overwhelmed there. I decided to reach out. We became pen pals for a moment. She's also a psychologist, which illuminated something as she too was being overwhelmed with the feeling of helplessness. Her patients had to wait away from their parents who were infected and sick. They couldn't be there in the final moments of their parents' life. They couldn't say goodbye. They couldn't go to the funeral because there was no funeral. They couldn't even go out to buy flowers. They were just there with her, expressing their pain, sadness, And yet, she's an aerial performer. A weightless dancer with her audience below, gazing up at her as she twirls about in the sky, while also balancing the weight of sorrow from so many human beings as a psychologist. And maybe that's why we need art, she said. Maybe it's to lift the weight of the overwhelming into the transcendent. You see, they're going to need you. All of you. The world will need the creatives. The dancers, the poets, the painters, the musicians, the chefs. They're going to need all of you. Though the structure of order may feel as if it's fallen into ruins, it's artists who are the first to go into those ruins. Artists are the ones who first venture into the decay and the chaos, and they announce to it, this can be beautiful once again. After the plague, there came the Renaissance. And what is a Renaissance but a collaboration to lift humanity out of despair? Life has suffering, it has chaos and ugliness, but it's art which remedies this and enriches us. When the world feels like it's surrounded with ugliness, that's when you make something beautiful. It can be a handwritten letter to someone, a piece of art, a musical composition, or a ballad for your own ears to hear, a new recipe, or a dance in the living room, a poem for a quiet evening, a splash of color to an old room, a handmade craft or a good friend, or a drawing late at night of an inspirational woman who is just a stranger across the sea. Good night.